Thanks to everyone for coming today. We appreciate uh, your time and your interest in our program. It's certainly an exciting day at the University of New Orleans. It's exciting to introduce our newest head baseball coach, uh, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, for my staff, everybody knows that I tend to go a little long and long-winded. I think for today, brevity might be the theme for me because I want to get on to the headliner. You know, this, everybody wants the, uh, the opening act to, to be brief and quick and get, get done with it. So we're going to get on to the headliner soon. Um, our newest head coach, uh, who you'll meet momentarily, uh, was mentored by two of the most successful and most respected head coaches in college baseball history. Coach Maestri, who we had the pleasure of having on our staff twice, uh, as, as leader twice of our program, and Coach Paul Maneri. Uh, our newest head coach understands our university, he understands our culture, he has value for academics and the success in academics and what a balanced man means to our program and means in life. Uh, he understands our community and he understands our state. Uh, you all know him for the impact he had on the LSU Tiger program, but we selected him for the impact he's had on our UNO Privateer program. Our newest head coach, Blake Dean. coming out. Um, I just want to start by saying it's it's an honor for me to, to take this job. I'm truly excited. I think it's a great opportunity for a young coach to come in and take over a program like this. Uh, coach Maestri came in for, for two years and got this place back on the ground, got it rolling again, and I, I anticipate to pick up right where he left off and to make him proud and continue to, to move this thing forward. Um, I'm going to go out and get a staff to where I think will do a great job for us. Uh, one of my biggest goals I want to achieve is I want to put up a fence around New Orleans again. I want to start getting the New Orleans guys to come back to UNO. Um, Delgado obviously has a great program there, um, so I don't want to let the kids get out of the city anymore. I'd like to start trickling those guys um, back to, to UNO. Um, some things I will promise and I will, you know, that I anticipate that we'll do and I know we'll do is I will promise you that we will work harder than the other team in the Southland Conference. I do promise you that. I don't promise wins. I don't promise anything like that. I promise things we can control. Uh, we had a great uh, reputation with our academic stuff going on so far. Obviously, we had a 3-0 as a, as a team over the past two years. Our GPA is great. That will continue to improve. Uh, we'll continue to get great baseball players. That's one thing I want to make sure we do is that, you know, all the former alumni and players that when, you know, my team takes the field next year that all you guys are you're happy, you're excited, and you're on board with us again. That's, that's the biggest thing I want to do is I want to get some excitement back in here to get a young culture involved again in our program and to start moving this thing forward. Um, I definitely you know, wanted to recognize a couple people. Obviously, uh, some of my family's here, my mom, my cousin, and my sister, my two nephews are over here. Um, they've been a, they helped me out a lot through all the process growing up and all that type of stuff, and, and mentoring me and having my back when no one else would, so I appreciate them being here. Um, my two high school coaches, uh, Coach Sweat and Tim Gillis, uh, were two guys that have kind of laid the foundation down for me in the coaching realm and have helped me to grow into what I've become. Um, obviously, when I went off to LSU, I'm from Florida, so I didn't know what to expect. But Coach Maneri has been a great mentor for me there. Uh, we had a lot of success together as, you know, coming up. Uh, I faced some adversity there my first year, and I did, you know, we came together and did very, very well moving forward. Um, so Coach Maneri is like a second father to me. I look up to him, I respect him, I'll ask for advice in many ways as I move forward with this thing. Um, I understand I'm young, I understand that I have a lot to learn. Uh, but I will bring tons of energy, tons of excitement, and I will make sure our guys are, are prepared and well and ready to do what we need to do to improve this program. And then obviously, uh, I would like to you know, recognize Coach Maestri. Um, it's hard at this age, and hard in general, to get into coaching. Uh, it's becoming now where head coaching jobs don't turn over, assistant jobs don't turn over, so it's hard to get into them. Uh, Coach Maestri believed in me. He gave me an opportunity to succeed, and I couldn't thank him any more for that. I hope he knows that I'll continue to push this thing forward and I will do everything I can to make sure everyone remembers his legacy and we can build it back to what it was. Um, as well as, you know, I wanted to recognize Derek as well as, well as Dr. Foss. Again, uh, it's not often you see a guy at my age that, is, that gets an opportunity to be a head coach. Um, so for his ability and his belief in me, I appreciate that to give me the opportunity to come here and turn this thing around and get it to where we're going. Uh, we actually have Scott Crabtree, he's one of our local guys we committed from Jesuit here. I appreciate you coming as well. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start building this thing up again. I believe in it. I know what it's gonna do. It's gonna take. It's gonna take a lot of hard work and a lot of effort. But I know you and O is capable of being what they once were and what we will be again. Uh, I appreciate it. I look forward to everything. Thank you very much.
He got his old number back, so he's <laughs> about 34. And that's because 34 graduated with a degree from the University of New Orleans, so I'm proud to say he didn't have 34. If you guys have any questions for Blake, I heard you say the New Orleans area. Um, I know a lot of high school ball players, and, and a lot of them want to stay close to home. Can you talk about the talent in Louisiana, all the high schools, and that you're shooting for? Sure. I mean, obviously, the Catholic League in New Orleans is where I want to base this this whole go after. Um, obviously, you got your you know your brother Martins and your Jesuits and all these type programs have always put out quite a few good baseball players. Um, so that's where I really want to anchor down at for the most part and try to keep those guys from slipping out and, you know, going to the LSUs, the ULLs, the Southeasterns. I want to keep them, keep them local, um, as well as vitalize Delgado. They always seem to put out some good players. Uh, so that's where I truly want to focus. And, again, it's going to be a process. There's going to have to be some patience involved and some, some belief and all that type of thing. But I know it's capable, capable of doing it, and I'll find guys that are willing to go out and make it work. Besides, a lot of people don't talk about your age, of course. I mean, uh, what do you think some of the positives and negatives that come along with being such a young head coach? Uh, well, I think the positive, I can relate to the players on a level that most, most other guys can't. Uh, most of these guys still remember when I played at LSU, so I think that gives me an edge. It gives me an end to, you know, with those guys. Um, you know, I talked to Coach Venera last night. He called me. He said, you know, I had zero coaching experience, and I was 25 years old when I got my first coaching job. He said, so go in there with confidence, energy, and belief you can do it. And he goes, and if you portray that, then your players will buy into what you're doing, and they'll believe in you as well. What do you plan to do differently than what you are already doing as an assistant coach? Um, I just, as an assistant coach, I just feel like we need to, you know, what we did before was working. It just needs more time. I feel like everything was going in the right direction. Coach Maestri had started laying down the foundation again. Again, we had a, a guy drafted last year in the 12th round. You know, UNO hasn't had a guy drafted in quite a few years. So, again, we're in double-digit wins. That hasn't occurred in a few years. I'm not setting goals that are unreasonable. I'm not going to set goals that I can't reach. I want to set goals that are reachable, obtainable, and we'll start moving forward and as a team, and we'll reach those goals. You, you've already got a recruiting class for the next year. Uh, do you have any idea of how many – are those kids are gonna honor the, those commitments? And um, as far as I can tell, obviously I've kind of been hushed about this whole situation until it, it occurred. Um, but as far as I can tell, all of our guys that I talked to, one of our main guys last night from Florida, um, he's still on board. And as far as I can tell, no one else has, has left or will be leaving. Um, we should be covered in that aspect. And I still want to sign a couple guys. And you know, my brother has waited out this process for me as well. Obviously, he went to LSU out of high school and. Uh, when they won the Junior College National Championship in Florida. Um, so he's waited out for me, so I will bring him over as well, and I'll try to build, you know, bring a couple of his guys with him as well. Uh, working under Coach Mace for the past two years, how, how much has he helped you in your process, you know, transition from being a player to a coach, and how much has he, uh, was it helped in getting you this job? Uh, obviously, Coach is a vital role. Everyone in New Orleans knows Coach Maestri, um, and everyone respects him. He's done a great job here, and he built this program to what it is today. Um, he did a great job. He's done a great job mentoring me. Um, again, coach loves baseball. That's what he, he lives for. So, he, you know, you don't, a lot of baseball things are not, you don't get into the grand scheme of things. You get into the, the discipline, the detail, the small little things that most people don't pay attention to. And that's what Coach Maestri showed me how to do is pay attention to the little things and the, the big picture will take care of itself.